Paul Cardall is thrilled that All Heart with Paul Cardall is joining the American Songwriter Podcast Network. American Songwriter has been a home for songwriters, musicians, and music lovers for over 35 years. And the award-winning pianist, songwriter, and transplant recipient truly believes it is the perfect place for his podcast. Hello, I'm Paul Cardall. If I told you my story, you wouldn't believe it. In fact, I shouldn't even be alive to share it. I was a young, naive kid from Utah born with half a heart. I learned to play the piano by ear as a teenager after fighting to survive an illness that resulted in my third open heart surgery. The first song I was really proud of that I began to share came a year later after losing a friend in an accident. You see, with all these mysteries of life, sitting at the piano and playing music seemed to align the stars and bring comfort to this already broken heart. When I'd play my songs for people, I'd get that same reaction and they'd ask me to play it again. I'd play something else and they'd ask me to play that again. So I knew I was onto something special, but building a career in the music business as a self-taught pianist? Well, I went into the recording studio and I made a cassette. I took a job playing in a Nordstrom's on the condition customer service would take my albums on consignment. That Christmas season, I sold almost 2,000 copies. I was so inspired, I did all I could to learn about the music business and secure distribution because I was driven to be something important. However, I seemed to always be up against a wall. I compared myself to others and what I was missing out on instead of what I was achieving. Like hiking a mountain, all I could see is people up at the top and how far I had to go. I never really took the time to enjoy my surroundings and look at how far I had come. You know, it's that darn Miley Cyrus song. It's the climb. Over the years and several albums later, anxiety kept creeping in and the creativity slowly was leaving me. I forgot the two reasons why I was doing this in the first place. One, creating music healed my already broken heart, and two, my music was helping countless people have personal life-altering experiences. So what was I doing wrong? Then I met my wife on a cruise to the Holy Land. We can call this section the love boat. She worked on Wall Street and experienced that tragic September 11th when we all watched on the news the towers collapse. She was enveloped in the smell. This wise woman taught principles of gratitude and to have an optimistic approach to my career and reevaluate what does success actually mean. I then heard a prominent producer ask a bunch of faith-based artists a very important question. Are you driven or are you led? This resonated with me. I was driven long ago believing success was just within my reach. Little did I know that being driven is not as enjoyable or fulfilling and takes much, much longer as being led. What does that mean to be led? Well, we're not talking about a number two pencil and this isn't a test. You see, I was self-consumed. When I stopped obsessing, analyzing, polling, and talking to myself about all the things that were driving me to go where I needed to be, I was basically swimming upstream in a muddy river. When I changed my attitude, which wasn't easy, it takes time, to a spirit of gratitude and started to put positive thinking out into the universe, like in the morning, I'm so thankful to be alive, I'm grateful that I have a healthy heart, I'm grateful for my wife, I'm grateful for my kids, that's when mountains started to move. Instead of being driven, I was now being led by positive affirmation. I know it sounds strange to those who don't know what I'm talking about, but let me tell you what happened. I built one of the most prosperous record labels in the instrumental genre of music. It's often categorized as new age, classical, or religious music. My various recordings debuted number one on 11 different billboard charts with 43 other chart debuts. The Gospel Music Association awarded me a dove for instrumental album of the year, and I've been fortunate to perform at the White House and in Nashville's historic Ryman Auditorium. My wife and I even had a moment in the green room where one of my heroes, Johnny Cash, met June Carter. That was a magical moment for the four of us. On streaming platforms, my fans, and I love my fans, they've streamed my music 2.3 billion times without me touring or doing any major press. You see, I know my fans. They're diverse, they're beautiful. They live in more than 160 countries around the globe. We talk to each other, they message me, I message them back. It takes time, but this is why I'm here. I'm here to make people's lives better. In 2018, I sold my catalog in one of the biggest acquisitions of instrumental music that left many professionals in pop music and country music asking me, how'd you pull that off? 
Let's just say find yourself a good woman and change your attitude to a spirit of gratitude. And when you know your purpose in the heart of your audience, you find yourself in awe of all that's happening. It's like a beautiful sunrise that's coming up on a beautiful day and you are right there in the thick of it. In 2009, I underwent a heart transplant and received a donor heart. This was a beautifully orchestrated miracle. And with this second chance at life, I want to give people hope. I want to give people a sense of calm through my music, special projects, and this podcast. I love the entertainment business, especially when projects have a higher purpose that change lives. I'm inspired by artists, authors, filmmakers, business leaders, and all those who humbly work behind the scenes, and so many more interesting people that make a huge impact in a unique and almost unbelievable fashion. The individuals you'll hear from on this podcast are some of the brightest stars because light and goodness emanates from their heart. I've discovered if you talk with people long enough or if you ask the right questions, you'll discover something much deeper is guiding them. I'm seeking to shine a light on creative and game-changing individuals who know what it means to be all heart. You'll know many of my guests because you listen to their music, watch their films, or know their business. Our conversations are encouraging, educational, and often inspirational. We're going to dive deep into their heart and they'll share with us what keeps them carrying on in the face of adversity and how they use their gifts and talent to make the world a better place. So join me here on the American Songwriter Podcast Network. This is All Heart with Paul Cardall.